What did the boomers do? They grew up in a system of high progressive taxation and social services. Strong unions. Strong middle class. And cheap education and housing. As they aged they voted to take all of those things away from the younger generations in order to continue enriching their own generation. And then they largely blamed younger generations for not being able to prosper the way they did. Calling them lazy and entitled. Edit. To be clear, I'm not implying that they did so with the thought that they were intentionally sabotaging future generations. But they did so nonetheless. And, as is clear from some of the comments, they still don't realize or admit it. They are in a world that left them a long time ago but refused to let go. For example, I am part of a family business and my dad is the founder. He refuses to retire and insists to work. But he refuses to meet clients. Expand. Use basic technology and spends majority of his day getting angry at politicians. At the same time due to the culture. My parents who are millionaires expect me to give them money. Anyone who behaves like that. Unfortunately a lot of boomers do. Would be very hard to deal with. Shoot, I'm just happy someone remembered Gen X exists. Reaganomics. Reagan borrowed from the future generations to fuel the economic excesses and greed is good. Lifestyle of the 1980s. I.e. Cut taxes and government incomes. Lowered interest rates. While increased military spending. Increased national debts to cover the shortfalls also cut spending on education and infrastructure that would have long-term negative consequences etc when you borrowed money you would have to pay it back in the future that future is here now your boomer parents and grandparents had gotten all the low interest money and benefits they had partied like it's 1980s now all you children and grandchildren have to pay back the debts plus interests for the parties that your boomer parents and grandparents had enjoyed. Boomers are the first generation in history to prefer their own success to that of their children. All previous generations fought for a better future for their kids. Boomers dismantled social services and cut taxes to make themselves richer. Voted for lower taxes, voted against infrastructure spending. Bottom line, they were in the right place at the right time. After WW2, America was largely untouched by the war, and production was booming. Most major European cities were either destroyed or fully dedicated to war production. Most of Europe was broke and didn't have the money to rebuild. Most of Asia and South America was not industrialized yet. We were the only game I town for like 20-30 tiers before the rest of the world rebuilt and surpassed us with newer factories, designs, and techniques of production. The system isn't controlled by the ordinary working class. The boomers just happen to be born at the ideal time for the working class. The people at the very top take advantage of the boom and bust cycles to gather all the resources on very few hands and they plan history many years ahead normal workers can at best plan their mortgage payment as long as they have a job the main problem is a lot of them aren't acknowledging the frustrations and hardship of being a millennial or gens they lived in an era of pure growth with progressive taxation everything was easier because they weren't really competing Businesses were booming and there just wasn't enough people to do everything. They also had low property prices. If they think we can just work hard to solve these issues. They're just being blind to it. I'm not saying if I were a boomer I wouldn't made a different choice. It's normal to make decisions that benefit yourself. But please acknowledge that the current generations are having a much much harder time to just find. A position in this world. In addition to what others says, they expect the younger generations to act, 
live the way they did as if life was simple. For example, here is what my grandfather, born in 1928, used to say to me, 90s, just knock on a door and you'll find job. Here is how things went for him. After high school he went to work in a field with a friend to have money for a trip. Couldn't handle the hard work. Went 2x3 months in a sanatorium where all he did was sleeping and sunbathing. His own word, to recover. Walked in the street, age 19, and saw an old friend coming out from the biggest newspaper of the region's headquarters. The friend told him they were looking for someone. He entered the building and offered to fill the position. No experience. No CV. No motivation letter. No appointment. No diploma. No reference. Nothing. He got the job. Assistant in the publicity department. One year later he had made enough money to go with friends and girlfriend for two weeks in Venice. From France. And proposed to her. My grandma, two years after he was the head of the department and bow a brand new flat in a modern and nice building full of gardens and services. In a nice area, now one of the most expensive area or the city. Later Avenue three kids and managed to buy a brand new washing machine and order custom made furniture for the flat. Five years later, now age 27 was skiing in the Alps, found two small chalets to donate. Donate. He bought a land in the village. Ten minutes walk from the ski lift. For ten France. Now about five euros. From the town because they wanted to get rid of it. Put the two chalet on it and build another one to rent. Enjoy life in his job and ski holidays all his life until 98 years old. It was not that easy for every one of his time but getting a decent job was that easy. Good opportunities were a thing. Having to change job every five years to have a raise wasn't a thing. They already had the rate. Diplomas were optionals. Yeah, all you have to do is knock on a door. It's the, I got my first job by going in every shop and leaving my CV, asking for a job, just started why. Can't you? I bought my house on a single, non-skilled, salary what do you, mean you can't afford to buy? A clip round the ear at school kept me afraid of the teachers and never did me any harm. Attitude. Without acknowledgement that they are the generation that lead to the raising house prices. Won't hire an unskilled worker. Won't pay a living wage to their employees that created the situation. Voted for stuff that made them more money with less effort at the expense of requiring more effort. For less money from everyone else. Boomer here. My presidential elections. Jimmy Carter. Walter Mondale. Michael Dukakis. Bill Clinton. Al Gore. John Kerry. Barack Obama. Hillary Clinton. Joe Biden. Anyways. On behalf of my generation. I would like to render my sincerest apology on. Ya yeah, no. That thing up the world thing? Sorry. The original definition of Generation X. June 12, 1991 Generation X holds McJobs. Low pay. Low prestige. Low benefits. Low future. Belongs to the poverty jet set. Well traveled but destitute is ironic as a matter of reflex and doesn't necessarily believe that the future is a better place. It is overdosed by information and has trouble filtering it. Post-80s generation of young adults that has been handed not just an empty platter but a platter. Empty of possibilities. To Generation X. The older baby boomers have already taken all the good stuff the good jobs. The good real estate. The good luck. Generation X was 26 years old when it got a name and the definition describes what boomers did. We're all the X generation. I don't know. It's unfair to classify all people by their generation. I'm a last year boomer and I'm very progressive. I'm not sure that any generation would not have taken advantage of the things that the boomers took. Advantage of. 
Really this should be an argument about the wealthy taking advantage, not the boomers. I'd say most boomers ignored the lessons of the Great Depression and two world wars because they got tired of hearing about them all day every day. The unintended consequence of that was pretending that they simply deserved the prosperity of the 1950s and that if it ever ended it would have to be somebody's fault besides their own. It couldn't be their own greed or sabotage of long-term growth for the sake of their unquenchable thirst for short-term luxuries. Yes I know there are a lot of boomers who never had two nickels to rub together but they usually sound like they would make the same decisions if they could. The boomers also way overstated the threat of Russia and way understated the threat of China to a degree that almost seems like mass psychosis in retrospect. The boomers hate admitting their mistakes more than the generations before and after them, even in 2023. My parents I think are some of the most boomer entitled in existence. They both went to college. My dad didn't have loans because his rich parents paid for it. My mom was legit poor and worked her way through cheaper private college while living at home. Which was possible because tuition was reasonable at that time. They were enlisted in the military and that's how they they met. They had a low salary with that. But were still able to raise my twin sister and I on that salary and buy a house. We went to private schools until college. My parents contributed minimally for our college education with the justification that we should get scholarships. My sister and I were second and third in our private high school but a full ride was out of reach. When retirement came around, my parents had saved little. Both working lower paying jobs throughout our childhood but were happy to inherit the million dollar estate from dad's parents and live off that, pretending as if they'd earned it. My sister and I saw nothing from the estate after they passed despite having a good relationship with our grandparents. So now, anytime my parents buy something nice for us, we're living off their largesse. Neither my sister or I plan on having much of the inheritance passed down. We're both earning our own way. We've got six-figure salaries due to our own hard work and are planning for the future. Needless to say, my parents are both Trump voters. I'm from the Detroit area and everyone worked in the automotive industry. They didn't need a degree or anything. Folks could also support a family on one paycheck which is nearly impossible now unless you're making big money. As a boomer I'm glad I didn't have kids. I haven't heard of either narrative. But it just sounds like the usual, blame the previous generations for your current problems, kind of thing. I think every generation does it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.